Moving now to Belgium, where police have charged a second suspect with involvement in a terrorist group as part of the investigation into a foiled attack on Paris. This according to the Brussels prosecutor. The man charged was identified as A. Abderrahmane and was shot and arrested during a raid in the Brussels district of Schaerbeek on Friday. Belgian police have detained four people for questioning in qu connection with terrorism following 13 raids today across Brussels and the towns of Duffel and Mechelen. Shelby Weiner has more. Belgian prosecutors have continued vigorously making arrests in the wake of last week's deadly terrorist attack. Police have charged a man, Chafo, as a key suspect, thought to be the highly sought-after man in the hat. He was detained along with several others on Thursday in a police raid. In a separate Thursday arrest, a second man, Abu Bakbar A, was charged with participating in terrorist activities. Many others have been detained by Belgian police. Then on Saturday, Italian forces arrested an Algerian suspected in connection with both the attacks in Brussels and Paris. Belgian police are working overtime as the raids and arrests continue. A march against fear planned for Sunday was postponed after requests by the mayor and interior minister to avoid further straining the police. And we understand fully, but fully, the emotions that our citizens, but also we, have. And uh, we understand fully that we want, everybody wants to express these feelings, but we want, it's our responsibility that this can be done in the best circumstances possible. And that's why we uh, invite our citizens to report this uh, manifestation to a, later, to a later date. On Thursday, Belgium lowered its security alert one level, but police are still prevalent on the streets. Organizers of the march said thousands were expected to attend the protest which was meant to start at the Bourse, a central square which has become a significant place of mourning. There is a feeling that life goes on, but it's weighing on our hearts. I was impressed when walking from the Grand Placeto to come here, and about 50 meters from here, it is all silence and calm. I told my daughter, there is such a terrible weight of emotion that I felt very strongly. Brussels became the scene of Europe's third deadly terrorist attack in the last 15 months. After bombs exploded in two parts of the city, Tuesday's blast killed over 30 and wounded some 300 people.